What is a Just Because book? Well, for me, they're a little book, and it could be really little, or it could be medium little, but it's something that fits in the palm of my hand. It's a book I make just because it makes me happy. That's all. You don't need another reason. It can be something you do just because it makes you happy. Sometimes I start with a piece of upholstery fabric because it feels really good in my hand. The most important thing about a Just Because book is that you're making it just because working on it is making you happy. Because as far as I'm concerned, anytime you're making art, any kind of art, I don't care if you're doing stitching, if you're doing painting, if you're doing um, watercolors, if you're doing pottery, if you're creating something, it should be because that something that you're doing is making you happy. And if it's not making you happy, well, I don't understand why you're spending all your valuable time doing it. I love to take things that have just been piled up in the corner of my desk and see if I can fit them into a book. And it just reminds me to find joy in the process of creating, not to try and be a particular something. I mean, and it's fine if you want to make a book that's going to be a particular something, but a just because book takes all the pressure off and lets you just play. I usually start a just because book with just some simple, uh, a simple pamphlet stitch. And I usually do just a few pages, but I've done some that are really fat and fluffy too. Sometimes I'll put something fancy on the cover. Sometimes I'll let the cover stand on its own. This made me happy just to drop some threads on the cover, stitch them down and add some knots and beads. Very simple, three pages. I just was stitching because it made me happy. That's what art is for me. Is it something to do to make me happy? It's not something to fight over. It's not brain surgery. Nobody's uh, in a life or death moment when I'm working on my art. It's all for fun. Sometimes I just grab something off my desk and stitch it in the book. And then sometimes I'll work on them nonstop, but most of the time they just evolve over time. I just add little things to it. Now mine don't often have much paper in them, although sometimes they do, but you could certainly make a Just Because book completely out of paper. You don't have to do anything else. You can cut little windows, make little clusters, make it a pocket. I like the fact that they're small enough that I can hold in my hands and I can take them with me. I can sit on the couch and work on them while I'm watching TV. There are no rules. And if you ask where to start, I say start anywhere. I tend to do a blanket stitch around the pages if they're going to fray. You don't have to. Maybe you want to just let things fray. You have some threads on your desk, just drop them down, stitch them down. You can make some fold out pages. Honestly, there are no rules for making a just because book except to have fun. And so if you've heard the phrase, just because book around on YouTube or on Instagram, I hope it's because somebody is creating something of any size, of any color, of fabric or paper or any combination, and they're making it just because it makes them happy. Art doesn't have to be hard. And if you're just making little stitches like this on a page, you are an artist. You are a creative person who is creating textures and colors and all kinds of juicy goodness just because it makes you happy. And that's all it has to be.